Hey, this is Frank with Nature Best. We're going to be looking at a raphe's palm, uh, a lady palm that is having anthracnose disease, chlorosis, and necrosis. Check this out. So here it is. Here's the lady palm. It's it's a clustering palm. Uh, it's in a complete almost shape. It's underneath this giant tree, and it's doing beautifully. I mean, pretty beautiful. Um, you know, very little damage to it. You know, this is looks like a bend right there. Little anthracnose disease right there. The color is pretty decent. It's not great, but it's really decent. You got some here that's even better looking. Look how beautiful that one is. Um, it's in the shade. Um, you know, there's a little bit of chlorosis on this one coming out, this right under here. But for the most part, it looks pretty nice. You get over here, you know, a little bit, there's some dying in the bottom, but that's fine. You know, you got chlorosis and, and a little bit of damage, uh, some anthracnose disease. And then we're going through here and this one looks beautiful, right? Let me show you the ones in the back that are in full sun. See how those look. In full shade. Look at the dark green color. Okay, look at how dark that green color is in full shade. There's, you know, the roof line. There is these fishtail palms that are covering it. It looks beautiful. We're going to get back here. And then we go to the ones who are on this end, which are in shade, partial shade. And look how nice and green they are. The leaves, very little. Anthracnose disease, very little. They look really beautiful. Then we go into from partial shade to partial shade. Bam. Full sun. Look how they start getting. Chlorosis, necrosis, anthracnose disease. They just look hideous. Irrigation looks like it's causing the damage, which is right there. It's hitting it direct in the trunk and causing rotting. There it is. Look how horrible they look in full sun. Um, the chlorine is probably playing a role when it rains really hard and it splashes at the bottom, causing that damage from the chlorine water. But this looks hideous. I mean, look at the leaves. Necrosis on the leaves, which means it has you know damage to the leaf. There it is. The color's off. Pale. You know, it's, it's a pale green. It's not the dark green. So what you have is a plant that's obviously in the wrong place. Just because a plant may adapt, but we're in the summer. We're 95 degrees. Um, we're, you know, it's getting rain. You know, they're going to get disease. Possible city water could be causing an effect. Uh, we're suspecting that a couple of guys that grow it say if you filter the water it doesn't have that problem the city water is having a problem so there you go folks the same plant two different parts of the house once it's doing exceptional we've sprayed them with fungicide the other ones aren't needed to be fertilized we're doing full of fertilizing doesn't need a whole lot and one is doing excellent in one part and the other once they start getting into the sun they start doing horribly